Hello guys, so uh, today we will understand one topic which have been asked in many of the comment section in my YouTube videos. Uh, they asked this question, uh, can you elaborate more about RMA relationship and the accounting relationship into the payments side? So let's understand that uh, very important topic, whoever has asked those questions are very important. So there is something called RMA and there is something called accounting relationship between the banks. Right? So let's understand both of it. So RMA relationship and accounting relationship. So RMA stands for relationship management authority right RMA stands for relationship management authority and uh, this RMA is nothing but with RMA relationship sender and receiver can understand swift messages right so only if you have this RMA relationship then only you will be able to understand the swift messages sent from the sender and vice versa right so uh, <clears throat> so this is all about the RMA relationship between the two banks and uh, uh, whereas accounting relationship is nothing but uh, mm, the nostro vostro nostro slash vostro account relationship so if a bank has a nostro account in the other bank in a foreign bank in that case uh, the bank is said to have nostro account in the foreign bank and the same way the bank which is there in the foreign bank having account in your account in your bank then they are supposed to have nostro account in your bank and for your bank it will be the vostro bank so if you have this nostro vostro accounting relationship then the we say it as accounting relationship between the two banks and RMA relationship is nothing but uh, the capability to read and understand the swift messages being sent from the sender and receiver. So this is all uh, that means about the RMA and uh, accounting relationship. So if I have to take an example, I'll take that popular example where Ram wants to send $1,000 to Sam in USA and his bank is um, city US Ram his bank is SPIN and his bank is city US so now if uh, Ram wants to send thousand dollar to his friend who is living in USA and this is Sam right so now he sends he, he, he uh, uses his mobile net banking channel to initiate this transaction and SBN has to do some action so that one message uh, is reached to city US 
and which will help you to use to you know understand it has to debit uh, the SBIN account and credit the SAMS account. So there are two things which needs to be taken care by the SBIN before sending the SWIFT message. First thing is checks. This is another check uh, related to uh, messages to RMA. So SBIN uh, State Bank of India what it will do first is it will check if SBI and has RMA relationship with city city US now uh, as I said like SBIN will check whether his bank that is uh, SBIN bank has RMA relationship with city US or not if it is yes it has that it can send a MT103 message to city US so that is how MT103 message will be sent and this will be sent via Swift, as we all know, right? MT one zero three. Now, just by sending this MT one zero three, right? Uh, uh, the City US Bank is not going to credit to the Sam's account, right? So it needs fund, right? So second thing which uh, SBIN has to check is check related to accounting relationship so it will check uh, whether the SBN has the accounting relationship with city US or not that is Nostro account Maintain that city US, right? So this Nostro account is nothing but the SBI ends account in city US, right? And once this MT one zero three is received at the city US, it will deduct its account, uh, which is already maintained in city US. Uh, of whatsoever amount been sent in MB103 and it will credit the account to its customer Sam. So that is what the total uh, meaning of this RMA relationship and accounting relationship. If there is no RMA relationship, they cannot send MT103 and they cannot understand MT103. Right? So this is all about uh, RMA relationship and the accounting relationship. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comment and I will get back with them. Thank you guys for watching this video.